got the feeling that you, you guys look like a liberator team out there in the moment because you knew there were going to be choices uh, <laughs> up, up front. Is that a fair assessment? It just seemed like you had a bounce in your step. And you of tonight? Of today? Tonight. Yeah. Um, we knew what type of game it was going to be. I don't think we expected the result to be this wild. Um, we knew that they were going to try to play out of the back. You know, we've seen that 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 there's that's their style now, and they want to play out of the back. And we knew that if if we had good pressing and if everybody stuck together, that we could pick off some balls and turn them into chances. Uh, the first half was just a big battle, and and uh, you know I think we probably had three four chances, and we put three of them away. So we were pretty opportunistic, and that changed the game. Um, yeah, I was saying it's funny sometimes when you play these derby games. They don't really ever end 0-0. There's always some type of action. So I remember when I played for Anderlecht, we played Club Bruges at home one year, who was you know our biggest rival, and it was a one versus two game, and we end up winning 6-0 at home. And you think, how does this happen in a derby game? But it's kind of like once the once the domino falls, they just keep falling. Did you feel a frustration level on their part a bit uh, as that thing kind of as it, as it kind of unfolded? Well, you could see a couple of late tackles start flying in, and that's that's frustrating for them. But um, for the most part, you know, they stuck to their game plan, and I just think we executed ours uh, to, to the best of our ability. Well, I think the rivalry itself has been so lopsided the last two years. Uh, look, last year we won the Supporters' Shield and they didn't make the playoffs, so it was a bit lopsided in that way. This year it's probably going to be more competitive because, you know, they've, they've improved and they are a good team. Today we just put away, I think, three, four goals on set pieces. That doesn't normally happen in a game. So, um, look, we, we all stuck together. Our mentality was great all night and, and we finished a lot of chances. Uh, I don't think a lot of Derby games are going to be like this. Were the two corners to Dax? Yeah, for the most part, we said we wanted to put the ball in, in, in one spot tonight and let Dax and Aurelian Collin go up for him. And so uh, I thought my delivery was much better tonight than it was in the past games. And then, you know, Dax got up on a couple, Aurelian got up on one in the first half as well, and, you know, we buried him. The game is pretty shifty from the start. You know, this, does this feel like a rivalry for you? It's normal in a game like that. Uh, any type of rivalry game, it's going to be chippy. And so we knew that coming in. We knew that going up against D.C. a couple of weeks ago, it was chippy and we weren't ready for it. Tonight we were ready for it.